Dr. Bob, that was a powerful hour. Well, Renee, did. the Lord has done a lot of things in Renee's yes, life. Yes, and, he uh, has. And she has trusted him and in that God process. And God is still a healer today. He, he is still he working is, in our lives. He's able to heal soul, mind, and body. And body, yes, indeed. Yes. If we'll ask him, we have to ask. There's nothing and, impossible. No, with him. and we have not because we ask not. That's we, right. We need to turn to him. But if we turn to him, we need to surrender all of our life to him. That's the way it works. Yes. Let me share that scripture one more time. Okay. Colossians 3. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Amen. Now that's 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 the main one. But I, I've got to give you this. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we are so earthly minded mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we, yeah, we, we're we no just, heavenly good. We just I miss mean, out on God all, yeah, all completely. Yeah. Well, and, but that's the challenge. The enemy comes to rob, to kill, and to destroy. But the, but the Lord has come that we might have life, life and have and it life more abundantly. abundantly. But the question is, where is our focus? Where is it, your focus? Is our focus on this thing here that's going on? Or is our focus on the Lord of life? Yes. And, uh, and I think that uh, if you're watching tonight, uh, the uh, the key is to reach that point where you're willing, as Renee did, Let to finally just surrender and yes. say, Lord, it's all about you. It's about Jesus. You heard her say over and over again, it's about Jesus. Sorry. It's about Jesus. Yes. It's about Jesus. And he is the one who and makes it all We get our happen. eyes off of Jesus, we're in trouble. Yes, yes. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father, but the good news is he sent the Holy Spirit to live in us yes. if we're bringing glory to Jesus. Yeah, oh, man, yes. Amen. By the way, we mentioned in our prayer vigil the eighth the first now usually we have it on the first saturday of the but month th this year since that is labor day weekend yes yes wow we just wanted to make sure that our people had an opportunity to be there and if you've never been to one of our uh, prayer rallies uh, please uh, come we won't be on the air so you won't have to dress up and look pretty or anything uh, we're just going to come to the lord uh, from 10:30 uh, in the morning that's on the 8th until 2.30 in the afternoon. That's right. That's and it's going right. to be a lot of fun. It is. And you know what? People are getting healed. Yes, they People are. People are getting saved. People yeah. are getting their lives straightened out. Indeed. It's great. Okay, here's Joy Holden now. Jesus is holding you. Yeah.
Thank God. He is holy. He is. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, Joy is. is doing a great job tonight. Oh, and yes, she and is. her team, what a wonderful blessing it is to yes. have them with us. Yes. We have, while Joy comes over, and uh, we want to talk to her in just a moment, but we do have some more prayer um, prayer requests here. Uh, here's a 73-year-old um, um, lady, uh, fell on the kitchen floor and uh, a lot of bleeding and um, and she needs to have healing and strength. A 73-year-old uh, woman, another 73-year-old uh, woman, uh, a stroke and a blockage last year needs healing. Um, a lady who needs to sell her home. Um, a blood clot in the leg in Spartanburg. Uh, someone's praying for a future, needs, uh, needs to see a bright future. And of course, we know that the way we have a bright, bright future is in the in the name of Jesus, the person of Jesus Christ, direction and wisdom. A lot of prayer requests tonight, and uh, we're going to trust the Lord for peace and victory. Father, we come to you now in the strong yes, and powerful name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we bless each one of Wonderful. these requests tonight. We've had many, Lord, who are seeking mm -hmm. you, seeking you, Father, because there's no way in this world that they can have what you can provide for them. Greater are you in them than anything they'll face in this world. Yes. It's not by might know by power but by your spirit Lord and Holy Spirit we pray in the, name, in of the Jesus, name of Jesus that these folks would be healed that they'd be delivered that they'd stand up and give a testimony not Amen. that they're going to be healed but that they are healed Be in now healed. in Even Jesus now. name yeah. and we add our faith to theirs and Amen. we declare that it's done Amen. in Jesus name Amen. 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 Amen and Amen and uh, uh, we uh, have joy, joy tonight. We do have joy tonight in so many different ways. And we're so glad, Joy, that you've joined well, thank us. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for being here. And I want to, to share a praise report. A caller called in and said, would like to compliment us on our music tonight. It's very nice. Wonderful. <laughs> so thank you for being with us, Joy, and for bringing your team. Tell us a little bit about your team. I mean, uh, we have we know who you are. Tell us about that. Sure. Them. What's going on there? Um, so a dear uh, friend of mine, Shana Paris, has been singing background vocals with me uh, since we started this project and actually got to record in the studio. And she just really has a heart for ministry and a heart for the Lord. So she's been an absolute blessing yes. to us. And then um, Jeff Perry recently joined us. And actually, we went to high school together. And Jeff um, also has a, a tremendous heart for the Lord. And Jeff has studied classical guitar and has his bachelor's and master's degree in music. My goodness. And um, it's just happy to give back to the Lord. So well, they, they're happy, amazing talents. They make me sound good. Yes. Too. Yes. yes. I'm glad to have you yes. with us. And he um, does a good job, a great job. On absolutely. That. Yes, and, and you know, that's important because you, you can find musicians, but finding people that, that share your vision and, and have the same spirit to, to reach people. And mm -hmm. I couldn't ask for any finer two people. So I'm privileged. Well, as part of your testimony, we want to hear how do you go about uh, actually putting together? Uh, well, we've got a we've got a CD here. How do you go about doing this? You've got different you had different kind of studios, and you had to go through a lot of process to get that done. How does that work? How do you do that? Uh, the first answer is God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Um, so it it had been a while, but you know, I found myself. It's the first song was talking about searching for my purpose. You know, what's my legacy? Mm -hmm. What do I want to leave behind? And uh, Jeff often talks about sometimes we we become, we make money or our careers, our treasures without realizing it. And, and those are just tools so that we can do things for God. So I hadn't written in many years and, and all of a sudden I, I had opened up my heart and had gone through a transformation physically. I'd lost a lot of weight, mm -hmm. and God was really working on my heart, which He had started that process in 2011. And as, as I went through this, songs were just pouring out. I mean, like a faucet. Mm -hmm. And uh, the song you just heard, "Jesus is Holding mm -hmm. You." Yeah. My father passed away last oh. April with mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, but the day after the funeral, I. I I got up out of the bed, you know, it was kind of blue, 
from all that and just processing the aftermath of the funeral. And, and that song came to me and I was smiling. Because I, I actually watched my father die, and, uh, but I was, I was smiling because I thought, Jesus is holding you. You were with the Father. Yes. A and I had such a peace and comfort. It, it's and I been, think that's what the scripture that we've been studying tonight is talking about. Focus on the things of heaven. Focus on the mm -hmm. Lord. When this world gets you down and becomes overwhelming to you, don't think about this world, but do think about Jesus. Not about escaping and going to be there, but that he has come. His kingdom has come. His will is being done in your life here on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. See, and that's what you were able to, join, to discover in that time of being blue and maybe depressed yeah. about your dad and everything. And Renee also, Jesus is here, but it's the things of heaven he brings here to us by his spirit sometimes I, I think is you know when you've been a Christian a long time as mm -hmm. I, I accepted Jesus when I was nine years mm -hmm. old but sometimes you take things for granted and and when you become a Christian later in life I think people study so mm -hmm. it, it's just that whole process yeah. of, of really getting in the word but he gave me so many great songs and one of the uh, Bible verses that I went to you because you had mentioned going to different studios mm -hmm. was Isaiah 61 3 and and that came at a time in my life when I really needed that and it was like the year of the Lord's favor is on you who's sovereign God and and you were to go out and first it said you're anointed go out and and reach the lost the brokenhearted uh, people that are captive and that's mm -hmm. drugs mm -hmm. alcohol pornography mm -hmm. or whatever it is uh, that feel lost and like they don't have any hope mm -hmm. And that's where the, the catalyst so, for so many of these songs. Mm -hmm. And I was able to um, really surrender. And when I gave it to God, I was content as a musician being in one studio, and that was fine. And, um, but God had other plans. He had a different vision. I had no concept when I started making this album. Yeah. It was just... I have a bunch of stuff that God wants me to record, mm -hmm. but he had other plans, and I met some wonderful, I'm talented sure people, but I met, the, what was important to note is I met godly people. Mm -hmm. I was able to work with the group important. sisters, I did some background vocals, and, and Monty Lane Allen in, in Nashville, who is a, a, a great writer and, and plays for Alan Jackson, but those blessings, I believe happened because I opened. Trusting the Lord. I opened up my heart and trusted yeah, Him. Yeah. Uh, Bill, you wanted to. Did you want to say something? I think you. Well, I thought I, I think heard she you. Just answered did it. she? I, yeah, I was concerned that she mentioned different studios, and I was wondering how, how that was helpful uh, musically and spiritually. It, it, yeah. you're, you're right. It was it was a blessing musically, but I think the shocking part is spiritually, it was a bigger blessing. Uh, because I, I got introduced to uh, a world of uh, these musicians and artists that, that do this for a living, and it, and it is a hardship. Um, but when you surrender and you give it all to the Lord, yes. it, it, it's easy. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. And that's so, the way it is with everything in life, whether you're a musician or you're working in the marketplace of commerce or ideas health and wellness, if you're actually in the world. And we think it's all about uh, what we do in the church house. Yeah. But what it is, is what we do out there where we make an impact on a lost and dying world. And you, uh, Joy, you have such a great gift. And, and uh, Shana and Jeff, I mean, what a tremendous team that you have that's able to do this yeah. in a world that's so desperately in need of oh, hearing really the gospel, is. the good news. And uh, boy, you do it. Well, and you talked about having a, a second career yeah, later yeah. in life. Even though I I grew up singing and writing songs, mm -hmm. and I, it's kind of like I feel like I'm on a a second career. Yeah. Um, but again, it it's not. It doesn't feel like a job. No. It's, it's a calling. And I think I think my son, who we were talking about, the book publisher, and and my other son has experienced some of these things too. Mm -hmm. But but some of the keys. Number one, when you wake up in the morning, and this is without regard to age, old, middle age, young, whatever. Do you have a passion for something? Number two, 
if you have a passion for it, do you have some talent in that? And number three, is there somebody who might find some value in it? Because it's God who gives you the ability to generate wealth so his covenant can be established. So do you have a passion about something? Do you have something you're good at? Is it something that will have value to somebody that they might pay you for? But number four, is it something that will bring glory to God? And I, I think without regard to your age or your status in life, uh, I was 74 years old last year. I'm 75 now. But last year, I started a brand new career teaching full-time at North Greenville University in the School of Business. I mean, I have a law degree that I, I really didn't use because I went into the ministry, and, and yet this law degree and all that I've done in teaching high school along the way, I started churches and whatnot, but now the Lord's given me an opportunity to start a whole new career, and I'm 75 years old. Bill, how does what happened to all this retirement stuff I've heard uh, so much about? I don't find retirement in the Bible. It, it's not in there? No. Well, then I guess I'm where God so wants me to be. Fun. Yeah, and I'm having fun. Yeah. I got a passion about something when I wake up in the morning, and it's kind of you're cool having a way. good time. Doing and it. I have and a sense you're different. having a good time. I'm having a ball. Yeah, and you got a job someplace else too. You I get do. To, I, I have a great career, and um, but but you really love. You got this passion, but and you're good at it. Passion and purpose. Yes. Yeah, and somebody and making a difference. And somebody will have a value because you got a CD here, Joy. Holden, and what does that say? As, as long, long as, as you, you breathe. breathe. And yeah. that's what it is. Don't ever worry. You may be getting older as long as you, you may not be able to soar with the eagles. You may not be able to run without getting weary, but you can walk without fainting. Now listen, y'all, don't quit yet. Don't quit yet. Yeah. There's still hope, and that's as long as you can breathe. You're all right. That's You're all right. right. Joy, what would people be surprised to know about you and performing? Um, I actually... I'm not shy, but I, I have some stage fright. Um, so I think they would be surprised because a lot of people say, okay, you look like you're very comfortable doing that. But that's something I, I pray about. And would you, even would, tonight, yes, it, has even felt, tonight. It, it has felt easy because this, I have felt the Spirit. Yeah. Especially when you guys were talking to Renee, I thought the Holy Spirit is in this place. He, he really is. Now, would you be too frightened if we asked you to go get ready to do another number for us? Would you, the stage fright, you'd be okay with I that, I would be right? okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you need to go because I we need to you have can you, do it. you okay. release you. God bless you, Joy. We're Thank so glad you, you came Thanks to do Thank tonight. you. Yeah. Wow, and she yeah. is exactly right. And there are times in our life where we get afraid because God's called us to do something, right. but greater is He who's in us well, you than know, anything we'll face you in know, this world. One thing I've learned is that God doesn't call the qualified. Uh, he qualifies those who are willing to call, go. Yeah, that's right. That's yes. right. That's right. And, and He does qualify us, but He gives us the resources. But that's because it's not we who live, because that's back to Renee opened that scripture up from Galatians 2.20. It's not we who live, but Christ who lives in us. Yes. He's the one who qualifies us. That's right. That is for Amen. sure. That is for sure. Amen. All right. Here's Joy Holden. I must tell Jesus. Amen. Amen. What a thought. Jesus, I must 
tell my Jesus, Jesus can help me. Jesus alone. Tempted and tried, eat a great sin. Tell my Jesus He all I cares Sorrows will share I must tell Jesus I must tell Jesus Tell my Jesus, Jesus can help me, Jesus alone. That's the best one to Amen. tell. Amen. Tell Jesus. Oh, Let's tell word. Jesus. Yes. Well, yes. we got some, we got, we want to oh. thank Jesus tonight. Oh. Uh, a lady called in with a praise report. She wants to thank the lady that prayed with her on Tuesday night, last night. Uh, evidently, a lady where she worked misplaced $200. And in the process of misplacing the $200, she thought that the lady who called in had taken that money. Uh -oh. And then, but we prayed for her, the, the lady who was accused of taking the money, prayed with her on Tuesday night. Yeah. And, and sure enough, the Lord came through and this lady who accused her found the $200 and realized she had misplaced it. And so the Lord, uh, the Lord redeemed that situation. Mm -hmm. And boy, can you imagine being accused of something like that. Oh, we have yes. some uh, a colon, uh, her lady that's uh, having a colonoscopy and having uh, open heart surgery at the same time in the next week. And uh, a lot of bypasses going on in that. Um, arthritis, uh, a heart attack. A lady had a heart attack today and uh, claiming 1 Peter 2.24 that by his wounds, by Christ's wounds, she is healed. She's believing that. And need, of a, need of a job to support three little children. Many prayer requests tonight, oh Brother Bill. Do you want yes. to pray with these, yes. pray over these? Yes. yes, Father in heaven, we bring these people to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. These are not just slips of paper, but these are men and women, women boys young and, girls. and old, yes, yes, with yes. a desperate need. Men. Lord, I pray that you'd lay your mighty hand upon yes. them. Thank God that for the one that had misplaced the money yes, and, thank you. We and found made it, accusations thank you. and thank Jesus God it was Lord. made thank right. You, thank we you. pray, oh God, that you would bless each one of these. Yes, Heal that sick one. Yes. Lift that discouraged one. Yes. May the power of God be mighty Jesus. in their lives. Thank May they come to know you as Lord yes, and Savior. Thank we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity yes. tonight just to be a witness for your name. In the wonderful name and of Father, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank Christ. you for our military. Thank we thank God. you for our first responders. Yes, we we do, thank Lord. you for those who put their li lives on the line for us every day. Oh, we bless we them tonight. Mm. We love you, Father, for them. Yes, Amen. Lord. Father, we just are so grateful for all you've done tonight. Yes, we give Lord. you our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Goodbye.